few weeks ago, I made a video about the new stacking case that I had designed. And the whole purpose of that case was to allow people to make the case whatever they wanted. Uh, and so one of the biggest things that people wanted to do was add in new parts. So uh, what I did was I created a blank for everybody to be able to import into whatever editing program that they want to use. And then you can make your own designs to add to the stacking case. That way uh, you can really make this case whatever you want to do. So um, what you have to do is just download this blank file from Thingiverse. I'm using Tinkercad for this demonstration because it's free and everybody should be able to use this. Uh, and then what we're gonna have to do is start uh, adjusting this blank file in order to make it hold an ATX PSU. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is find the dimensions for said PSU. Um, and really the best way to do this is just typing it in Google and finding the dimensions. Um, finding pictures and finding the schematics for where the holes are gonna be uh, for all the screws, as well as the dimensions of the units themselves. Uh, and this is pretty much the best way to, to design these parts, unless you really have calipers in these units and you wanna do it yourself, but in this way is just way, way easier. Once you have all these dimensions, you have everything that you need in order to make the part that you want. And the first thing I wanna do is make this part taller. Uh, so the, the floor of the, each of these parts is gonna be four millimeters tall, so I'm gonna raise it up four millimeters. And I know that the PSU is going to be 86 millimeters, so we're going to put that in here. And you can see that we are uh, a little bit taller than this part. So what we're gonna need to do is extend everything up. So the best way to do this is to duplicate the part, raise it up the necessary number of millimeters, and then uh, to erase the bottom section of everything. And we'll keep the original bottom of this case piece. Then we can merge these two new pieces together. What you're then gonna to wanna to do is to make a cutout in the back of the part and then align it to the dimensions of the ATX. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll create a, a fake ATX model inside. That way we can make a, and align everything to that so we know that the holes are in the right spot. And then we're gonna add in the holes for the screws. So we know where the screws go, again, referring to the same dimensions model. And then we're going to uh, add them in here by using the cylinders, uh, making them roughly four millimeters across, and then uh, adding in the spacing between them. The one thing to always remember though, is that when you have a cylinder uh, and you're doing spacing between them, uh, the dimensions in most of these charts are going to be from the middle of the circle. So in this case, four millimeters, we're gonna add two millimeters to each side of the measurement. Uh, that way we know that it's gonna be, we're measuring from the center of the circles. The next thing we're gonna do is add in the cutout in the floor so that you can get air from the bottom of the PSU. Um, and in this case, again, we know the dimensions of the unit. So we just adjust our stand in accordingly to the correct dimensions. And then from there, we can start reducing the size of it uh, on each of the different corners and so that it stays perfectly in the middle of where we want it to be. And then we don't have a opening that the PSU can actually fall through in the bottom. And now that everything is all cut out, uh, we can go back and make sure that we typed in everything correctly. Uh, it's better to double check everything before you send it out to the internet or else you will be laughed at mockingly forever. So um, make them a couple little more adjustments and then increase the size of the cutouts by a little bit in order to make sure that there is enough tolerances so that a variety of different ATX power supply brands will work. And that's it. Save it, share it, print it. Uh, really looking forward to see all these different parts coming in and let me know how it goes.